Hey guys, thought I'd do a quick little show and tell of my planer stand I made here. I mean, I'm a carpenter by trade. You wouldn't know it from all the rest of my posts, but it's kind of nice to get some tools in the shop where we can actually get into the finer end of carpentry. I ended up buying, <coughs> excuse me, ended up buying all my tools from King just because my local dealer had a good price on them. I'm not looking for super high-end stuff, obviously, or I wouldn't have bought King, but this jointer is, it's a six inch bench top jointer. It does have the, well, they call it a helical cutter head. However, it's uh, more of a segmented head. It's just not true helical. The planer's the same thing. 13 inch planer with the same style head on it. I'm pretty happy with it. I gave it a quick test and got everything cool planer and lined up. Most of it was pretty good out of the box, but um, yeah, the tools are okay. The system works really well, which I guess is more what this video is about. So I'm just running the King Mini Dust Collection, which is 110 volts. It's 590 CFM, a little less than our other model, which is 600. But with a four inch line, it's plenty for what I'm doing here. Uh, it's a single stage dust collector. It runs like a little under 200 bucks Canadian at my local store, which is uh, Great West Saw in Saskatoon. But uh, yeah, so I got 220 power coming in just on an extension cord split that up into 210 volt legs so i have a breaker for my dust collection and then this will run any one of these three plugs so that way if i'm only running one tool at a time 20 amps is plenty and uh, yeah for this planer it works great sucks no problem i mean it works just fine i'm using a 45 gallon drum as a cyclone which has been working exceptionally well. 45 gallon drum there, and then it's probably a quarter full, not quite, and I have virtually nothing. Just a small amount of chips in the bag here, so this cyclone has been working really well. The biggest disadvantage to the cyclone is because the pipes protrude through the lid a little bit, as such, it makes it a bit of a pain to remove the lid and get the can out of here but I mean it does work obviously if you have a hand it's way easier or a two by four something to prop it up um, yeah like I said the four inch 600 CFM is way more than enough that I need for any of this stuff however with the auxiliary port on the back end here you know I could run a miter saw table saw track saw whatever you have going it's just nice to have extra dust collection around so it works pretty good whole thing is on rolling casters I found some used cabinets and put it on a six, four by four skid that way I can lift it up with a skid steer and tore wherever I need to go. I mean, this is my extra hose and whatnot. Other side, I got plenty of storage for things like my chisels and router table, track saw, all the basics. It's kind of nice to have this space because we're always short of space in the shop, right? But yeah, I mean, so far I'm happy with the King tools. We'll see how it goes in the future. But um, I might end up upgrading depending how much fine work I'm doing. But uh, it's a pretty basic design. I mean, I'm about three feet wide and a little over six long. So I'm, I'm quite happy with how it turned out. I mean, I really suggest the 45 gallon drum. It's working great. But uh, yeah, comment, subscribe. Tell me any ideas you have and I'll see if I can incorporate them. Make it a little better. Thanks.